Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3 d In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a decal. Now, it's just going to be one image of just kind of like one decal. But if you want to do kind of like multiple decals um, and do texture painting, let me know in the description below. Also, if you can, like button, subscribe button, really helps me out. So let's go ahead and delete the default cube with the camera. I'm going to press Alt R, Alt G to reset the rotation and the location. G, Z to move it up. Let's come over into the camera settings, which I've already got selected. We're going to change perspective to orthographic. There we go. And now let's go ahead and create some sort of plane here. Let's go scale like so. Got an itchy nose. Sorry about that. Now what we need to do is create a material. Let's go new material. We're going to change principal to emission. I'm going to make the color white because we can always change the decal color later on when we're creating a material. Strength of the emission is one. Let's come over into the render settings over here and we will expand, sorry, the render settings over here will expand film and then we're going to make the background transparent. So now if I press F12, we can see we've got a, a transparent background and we've got our decal there. From here, we can come up to image, save image as, and we will just call it decal. Now, what can we do with a decal? So. Let's go on you know, shift right click, put our 3D cursor there. Let's go shift A, add in a plane. So scale that down, G to the Z, bring that up. From here, we're currently sitting in Eevee. Let's come up into shading. I'm gonna click to create a new material, shift A to search, and we're gonna go image texture. Let's open up that decal we just created down to here, decal, plug that into there, plug that into the alpha down the bottom. Um, let's now give it some rotation. I want it to be like this. So let's go 90 degrees. Um, I want to scale it a little bit on the Y axis and let's apply that scale. So control A and apply the scale. Mind you, I did that a little preemptive, but that's fine. Let's come down to about here because I want it sitting kind of like on this panel here. So from here, let's go into the uh, modifiers, add modifier. Let's go into shrink wrap. I'm going to select the target, which will be this panel here. Nearest point, nearest surface point, we'll change that to projected or project, sorry. And we're going to enable negative. So now if we go into object mode, we see that it gets planted straight onto the bottom there. If we go into the render settings, we should see that it's kind of through the mesh. So let's just change the offset to 0.001 and that should sit up just above. It's not. And that's because this surface is slightly curved. So what we can do is put an edge loop through here, select everything, right click, subdivide, subdivide. Um, I might just move it down a smidgen, just so kind of like one of these lines matches this edge here. And so that's what we've got. There's our decal. However, because we're in Eevee, we need to come into the materials tab down the bottom where it says blend mode. We're going to change that to alpha hashed. And there we go. Now we've got our little decal on our ship. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see a tutorial about texture painting, let me know in the comments below. That would be really appreciated. And until next time.